Welcome back. I'm Bill Powers with MiningStockEducation.com, speaking with James Sykes, the Vice President of Exploration and Development with Appia Energy. Appia is a Canadian uranium and rare earth exploration and development company with properties in Elliott Lake, Ontario, and in the Athabasca Basin in Saskatchewan. Ticker symbol is API on the CSE and APAAF on the OTC markets in the States. Appia also trades under the symbol AOI in the German exchanges in Frankfurt, Munich, and Berlin. James the last time we spoke, you provided us with an update from the 2017 exploration program at your Alsace Lake high-grade rare earth property. You're going to be exploring that same property again this year. Uh, for listeners that didn't hear that interview or haven't followed Appia, could you please begin by providing a brief overview of what you discovered last year and what are the plans for exploration at Alsace Lake this year? Okay. Thanks very much, Bill. Uh, thanks for having me on your show again. Uh, definitely. So Alsace Lake this last summer... We had a very encouraging uh, exploration program in which we discovered more mineralization, uh, critical rare earth element uh, mineralization at surface. Um, so we had about five new zones discovered there, which was uh, quite a bit more than previously. But uh, also important to that is that we've not only discovered, um, that not only confirmed that there are extremely high grades, that there are some of the highest grades in the, in the world as far as rare earths go, but we've learned the geology, and we've got a pretty strong foothold on how this mineralization will um, kind of works in, in the geological context. And, and we've we followed up that work with some uh, mineral mineralogy studies. And again, we know that this mineral uh, the mineralization is actually all hosted in just one rare earth uh, mineral, which is monazite. So for us going forward, uh, again, that's something really important because monazite is it's one of three rare earth element minerals that have ever been uh, economically exploited. So the technology is out there. The the science behind it is well understood and documented. So it's uh, everything's looking up going forward with this project. And your specific plans for this year, exploring the property? Yeah, uh, so this this year, we I, we would like to actually get a, uh, the first drills, drill holes ever pumped into the property. So we're going to start off, uh, hopefully within within the month, I'm, I'm assuming, as soon as the float plans are operational, uh, we'll get up there and, and uh, start by building a camp and we'll bring in some of the heavy machinery that we have at a staging site, which uh, like an excavator and also some equipment to build camp. And so as far as the field work actually goes, we'll be starting to trench and strip some of the overburden from the outcrop areas so we can actually see the rock there and follow that mineralization where we were losing it in the summer and couldn't get access to it. So that's that plan going forward. And... Then we'll just say yeah, once once we have it all defined at surface, or as much as possible defined at surface, we can follow those up with drill holes. And again, the, the surface mineralization will will uh, be a nice asset to guide us going at depth. Also, um, you know, we want to get to the point where we're developing a resource mineral resource estimate. And so again, that surface mineralization will actually carry quite a quite a hefty weight to building that resource. When would we be able to see the results of the trenching, and then when could we expect the drill program to begin? As far as news goes, we want to keep the, the news rolling around this time uh, because we are getting closer. So obviously we'll have a news release stating um, when we do start, like when we've mobilized to the field. Um, first news coming out would all be radiometric results. So it won't, it won't be geochemical results at first, but uh, radiometric results. And I'm, what I have anticipated is that we'll have a map uh, just showing the extent of what we've discovered at surface. Um, drilling, I'm hoping like, that we can get that done or starting anyway in July. Uh, I don't have a defined time yet for that, but um, July seems to be the most appropriate time for that. So again, we'd have news by that. Um, even first geochemical results might be coming back by July, August, somewhere in there. And then uh, drill hole geochemical results, hopefully we'll be getting those around August, September. And then if everything works well by the end of the year, possibly even at least an inferred resource estimate on the property? Yes. Yep, absolutely. What does the Appius Treasury look like? What is this program going to cost and how well funded are we? We've done a lot of legwork here to really bring down a lot of costs because of the remote remote location. Um, 
things like that do usually cost quite a bit, especially when you incorporate helicopter. So we've strategized moving forward in trying to eliminate as much helicopter usage going forward. And so we're, we've got about 900,000 in the bank and we're, we're assuming this project would even run us less than 500,000. We're also getting a diamond drill uh, custom built for us. And that price alone is going to cost us far less than, um, than any diamond operation that we, that we've run in the past. So again, we're, we're trying to save costs, um, all along the way, but make everything far more efficient and, and suitable for the, the field needs. So again, we're, we're well funded for this and yeah, we, if we do plan on a financing, we have nothing scheduled at the moment, but, uh, there's probably a chance that we will do a financing later in the year. James, before you go, could you touch on the, the rare earth story and the, the value proposition and why mining stock investors should be aware of uh, the rare earths market and, and how it's growing? Absolutely. The rare earth market is definitely a niche market, but it's it's really being driven in, uh, at today's oh, it, at today with the electric car generation. Um, anything with a permanent magnet motor uh, is definitely what's driving the rare earth sector, specifically elements such as neodymium, uh, praseodium, and uh, dysprosium. And these are the ones that are, are in much needed applications. So when you consider what permanent magnet motors are, you know, what applications they're used for, it's in robotics, electric vehicles, computers, cell phones, uh, the seeds of technology is uh, what they've been referred to as. And so these are only some of the applications that are being used now. Who knows what's going to happen in the next five or ten years. So the rare earth market is definitely, it, it, it's starting to come into more fruition, especially what happened um, with, the, uh, with the event in 2011. Uh, there are companies who are looking for supply chains to be established outside of outside of China. So that's where we see this Alsa's Lake project is actually being something beneficial to North American markets and that we could we could have a an at home source. So I, I don't see I don't see the market diminishing anywhere. Um, even if even if the EVs don't take off as as analysts kind of uh, expect them to. Uh, the fact is this is not a market that is going to diminish. This is a market that is going to keep growing and growing and growing. So the, the rare earth story will definitely be around. For investors wanting to learn more about uh, Appia's story, you can go to appiaenergy.ca if you want to be on top of the press releases as they come out um, as James leads this program of exploration. You can enter your email there, sign up for their email list, and Appia will send you the news releases as they come out from this exploration program. James, I appreciate you taking the time to share with us what's going on with Appia Energy. All right. Thank you very much, Bill. Have yourself a good one. Thank you for listening to this Mining Stock Education podcast. Please subscribe and share with like-minded investors. Visit us on the web at miningstockeducation.com for more resources on precious metals and natural resource investing. At our website, you can also sign up for our free newsletter for interview transcripts, stock picks, and more.